my god! Oh, my god. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't mean! I don't mean! No one wanted Sultan not to go through more than me. Hello everybody, good afternoon and welcome to the United Stands. I'm Mark Goldbridge and this is your Manchester United versus Nottingham Forest watch along. Emil in the live chat says he likes the lineup for Manchester United today. Well, I can tell you, I don't like it. I really don't like it, but there's not a lot I can do about it because it's because of illness. There is no place for Rasmus. He scores a goal and the next game... He misses out with illness. And I've got to say, what's going on at Manchester United with illness? It, I, 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 I just don't know what it is about our season that we're the only club that seems to have a pandemic illness. Not pandemic, that's not the word. Um, we're the only club that seems to have an illness that's been going through the club for about six weeks. Come on, United. Let's get a bit of a bloody bit of passion in this game. You know, you think about that. The thing that annoys me is... Well, no, it doesn't annoy me, but um, baffles me, is that that last 45 minutes against Villa made me so excited for this game. And we've started it like it was a bloody dream. I was so excited for this Forest game after the Villa game. And yet, we just don't, we've just not started with any purpose at all. It's so lethargic again. And this is the problem, isn't it? We're so bloody inconsistent. Here's a Langer, decent cross. Oh my God, Varane flicked it and it nearly went in. Uh, big man ting. Yeah, it's not looking good, bruv, says Ria. <laughs> it's a scrappy game, I tell you that. It's a very scrappy game as we approach half time. Grumpy Bridge. I'm grumpy because this is shit, mate. You know, I'm always going to watch Man United, as I'm sure all you are if you're a United fan. But I'm just... I can't hide my disappointment, I'm sorry. It's like opening a box at Christmas and thinking it's a PS5 and it's a bloody blender. Bro, we are not Man City. You want to see that football? Go watch them, says Tevin. Tevin, you know, there's one for you as well. What the fuck are you talking about? What sort of what sort of knobhead comment is that? We're not Man City. If you want to see that, go watch them. What, what does that even mean? What do you even mean? You sound like the biggest loser in the world. You sound like... This is what we are. We're shit. And if you don't like it, go and watch something else. What made you support Manchester United, Tevin? Was it you just like the colour red? Fuck's sake, mate. Get some get get some fucking standards. I bet you I bet you I bet you eat beans and toast every night, don't you? Fucking hell. There's nothing wrong with not being happy with the way that we're playing today. There's nothing wrong with not being happy about what we've been doing for the last ten years. We used to have standards. At this football club, and as for saying, "Oh, Man City, Man City," we used to play the best foot. We we played the, we played the best football in the league for twenty years. For twenty years, we played the best. Is it too much to ask for Manchester United to play wingers who can put a cross in the box? Is it too much to ask for Manchester United to play with some intensity? Is it too much to ask for Manchester United to have players who can string four or five passes together and know where they are? I mean, I'm not asking for fucking Rome. I'm not asking you to rebuild Rome. I'm just saying. Man United, crosses into the box. Players who can get on the end of crosses. You know, a higher line, a bit of intensity. Three or four players who can actually pass and string a few passes together. Pass and move football. Fucking hell. It's, it's not too much to ask for. I don't get that. What is... Has McTominay got pictures of Ten Hag in uncompromising positions or something? I mean, what is going on there? I'm just, you know what? It'll probably work. It'll probably work. He's not even gone up front, McTominay. He's playing as the holding midfielder. He must be. He's got to, He must be injured. He must be injured. Must be. Mark games like this. Is it players, coaches, or ten hogs? Is he in? I think it's. I think it's accumulation of it, mate. Our first touch is terrible. That's why we can't hold the ball. Says Nemish. Players who aren't good enough to play better football. Oh, he's done. Wan Bissaka. What the hell is Wan Bissaka doing? What the hell is Wan Bissaka doing there, falling over? I thought he was going to give a bloody penalty away. I have a bloody nightmare there. That was a hairy moment. A very hairy moment. I thought he was going to. He sort of fell over. I thought he was going to catch his back foot. It would have been a stone wall penalty. Something here. Nice ball into Wan Bissaka. Cuts it back. Oh, who was that? Delo. 
thuds the post. I thought it was in. Here we go. Wambasaka. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's the best moment of the game. And when you know, didn't Wamba didn't um Oh, here we go, McTominay. Didn't um didn't we get a moment with Delow? Didn't we get a moment with Delow against was it wasn't it Burnley? Jaden Gamer, thanks for joining the members club. This was a lovely hit. Look at the way he connects that. Oh, the power on it. Would have been a, would have been a fullback assist and a fullback. Oh, he's beat the keeper there. He's beat the keeper there, but he's hit the post. Fulham Arsenal. Well, Fulham. Oh, hold on a minute. They're in the league. Here we go. Here we go. One nil. Fuck off, you pricks. That's the goal, isn't it? Who's marking who? More goals conceded than a bloody prat. Rubbish. App. Musical statues. Pissed up defending, sponsored by Carling. Where's Scott McTominay in this game? I don't fucking know. Just absolute rubbish. Rubbish. You could see, I see it coming a mile off. Runners from the midfield again. Casper the Ghost, where is he? Only what they deserve, only what we deserve. I can't wait to see this back again. Where's McTominay here, look? Too high. <sighs> There's not going to be an offside there. Passes it in. Yeah, you're out of position, mate. McTominay, you're out of position again. Well done. Casper the fucking ghost. Not doing his job. That's that. Fucking rubbish. McTominay ball watching 1 0. Been an absolute joke since he came on. That'll be it now. First goal. First goal goes in. That's it. She can count. Look at get she get her on get her on countdown. She can count. She said one nil. Well done. She understands football. Fuck off. There's no point. Well, there's no point shaking your head, Eric. You made the fucking sub. I can tell. Tell you what. Get someone at United. Get Eric Ten Hag. Get him my number, and then any subs he's gonna make. Let him send a message and I'll tell him. Don't put Scott McTominay as a holding midfielder. Problem. I think it's, you know, it's individualising things that's the problem. Goal, Rashford! 1-1! One, one. Well, I tell you what, that'll do. That'll do. Manchester United, 1-1. One, one. Somebody call Greta Thunberg because it's cruelty to trees here. The forest have been chopped down. And it's 1-1. One, one. Ganacho with the assist. Rashford with the finish. And, uh, well, there's no wood in Forest anymore. For now. A defensive error. And it's Ganacho who does all the work. Great play by Ganacho. He finally passes. And then Rashford just passes it into the bottom. That's all about Ganacho. Look at this from Ganacho. Slides in to intercept it. Lovely pass. That's what you want. That's brilliant by Ganacho. Absolutely brilliant. 1-1. One, one. Fucking hell. That's brilliant by Ganacho. It really is. The interception and then the pass. Christian Eriksen. Oh, good save by the keeper. Ahmad cuts it back. Oh. This game is stretched now. The hippo's got the ski pants on. It's stretched. Oh, not again. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. No. What a goal. What a goal to concede. How the fuck have we done that? They've just bloody... They've just bloody done the same thing again. There's no one marking on the edge of the box again. Where's the midfield? They've ran off like a fucking nonce who's left their computer at PC World. They've disappeared. They've disappeared. Where are they? Where are they? Where's the midfield again? I can't believe it. I can't believe this. I, I just, I'm just going to watch this back. I just do not look. When McTominay's there. McTominay's there, right? Where's Gibbs White here? No, McTominay, this is on McTominay again. Where, where, what's he doing? That's, I'm sorry, that's McTominay again. 
He's, he's been dragged out to the left and left the middle open. Ericsson's part of the attack. And it's a bloody good finish.